నమస్తే ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ నీట్ బూస్టర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ సిరీస్ ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ పి బ్లాక్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఫస్ట్ పియూసి థర్టీన్త్ అండ్ ఫోర్టీన్త్ గ్రూప్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ సో సమ్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ ఫ్రమ్ జేఈ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఆల్సో ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ ఐ హ్ టేకన్ అండ్ రిమైనింగ్ ఆల్ ఆర్ నీట్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ సో వాట్ ఐ విల్ డూ ఈస్ ఫార్ అనదర్ థర్టీ సెకండ్స్ ఐ విల్ షో యూ వాట్ ఆల్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ సో దట్ యూ క్యాన్ టేక్ ద స్క్రీన్ షాట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ దెన్ యూ క్యాన్ సాల్వ్ దోస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ then i will solve the questions then you can cross check how many is correct and how many is wrong that is better to do this right so see these are the questions you can see these are the questions so first one first question second question it is see and third question which of the following used in cosmetic surgery these three questions you can take the screenshot right then fifth question and sixth question also will get it here fifth and sixth question right so then the fourth question is here fourth question is here right i think you have taken then here seventh question eighth question ninth question and tenth question so 7 8 9 and 10 so these are the 10 question i am going to discuss in today's video so i think you have taken the screenshot yes let us start with this <clears throat> first one which of the following is incorrect statement incorrect statement they are asking correct huh? so generally say snf4 is ionic pbf4 is covalent sicl4 is easily hydrolyzed gx4 is more stable than gx2 one thing you can say sicl4 easily hydrolyzed it is 100% correct statement no doubt in it and remember gex4 is more stable than gx2 this is also correct because ge when it comes to germanium remember the element which is present is carbon silicon germanium tin and lead so common oxidation state is plus 2 and plus 4 plus 4 down the group what happens is plus 2 oxidation state stability increases and plus 4 decreases due to inert pair effect we will tell which means plus 4 decreases pb plus 4 is less stable but germanium is in between it is there definitely gx4 is more stable than gx2 is the correct statement now we will come to these two <laughs> now if you see tin f4 is ionic pbf4 is covalent they are telling which is wrong which is correct we will see generally what happens is tin and lead comes under metals remember soft metals metals means electronegativity will be less so fluorine is highly electronegative element so one thing you remember whenever the bond between metal and fluorine the bond take place most of the time it is more ionic in the nature because generally the concept is like this remember as electronegativity increases between two atoms between two atoms then remember ionic nature increases very important point remember this electronegativity as it increases ionic nature is going to increase hence you can say tin and fluorine I, the difference in the electronegativity is more and it is ionic then definitely that is correct statement but lead and f4 is covalent they have given so remember lead and pbf4 if you see lead and fluorine electronic difference is more hence ionic nature so the answer for this question is b then which of the following is not stable in such question what to see is whether first you have to see six bonds are possible for all these or not see carbon silicon germanium tin landed only for carbon more than four is not possible because of absence of d orbital but silicon germanium tin and lead more than six more than four is possible up to six hence silicon six germanium six and tin six it is possible which is which, which means it is not related to covalency under maximum bond formation fine all the four is possible then you have to think about see germanium is larger size tin larger size so oh minus and cl minus can be accommodate on its surface then sif6 and sicl6 when you say fluorine is smaller hence silicon is large enough to accommodate six fluorine atoms but remember silicon is if you consider silicon and the chlorine size almost same size because it comes under the same period third period because 14th element and cl is a 17th element correct so hence remember because of the almost similar size 6 cl cannot be accommodated on the silicon easily because of that reason remember 
in this particular case a should be the answer which is not stable it is due to the silicon smaller size so cl 6 cl is definitely almost the same size of the silicon so 6 cl is larger group it's because of the steric hindrance remember steric hindrance what you can call it as so because of that reason remember sicl 62 minus c is not stable which of the following is used in cosmetic surgery so in this particular case at least if you reread that synopsis once you can easily tell so for this synopsis whatever cet synopsis i have given the link in the description box that you can download so silica is comes under sand definitely it is never be used silicate it is comes under uh, this uh, uh, glass and cement formation definitely it is not used geolite is used in the uh, hydration this uh, uh, softening of hard water or you can say as a shape selective catalyst this is also but silicones when i tell this silicone property i have told one thing that is remember biocompatible biocompatible so biocompatible means it can adjust with the biological tissues very easily because of that reason in the cosmetic surgery silicones are used remember that then fourth question which of the following element is unable to form mf63 minus so here here whatever the hint i told first you have to see whether six bond is possible or not now you can see in case of the 14th 13th group element boron aluminium gallium indium and thallium so boron is having absence of d orbital there is no d orbital present in boron because of that reason remember so definitely boron cannot form up to six bonds only four bond is maximum for boron remaining is possible with six bonds boric acid is an acid because its molecule see boric acid is an acid because see here what happens is boric acid boh thrice i will write or s3 bo3 both are same when added to water you are going to get it as boh4 times minus 1 plus h plus remember contains replaceable hydrogen atom generally acids like if you take hcl or h2so4 all these contains replaceable hydrogen atom hence they are acidic but this is non metal hydroxide generally non metal hydroxides are acidic in the nature reason for that is remember in this particular case replaceable hydrogen is not the reason gives up a proton both are almost the same it is not the reason but what happens is here it act as a lewis acid remember lewis acid h2o means remember h plus and oh minus is present this oh minus is taken by boh tries to form boh four times so that h plus of water is released hence remember accepts oh minus from water releasing proton is the reason for this Combines with proton from water molecule is wrong. It is not combined with the proton. It is combining with the OH minus. Hence forming OH four times. Hence the answer for this question is C. Remember that. <coughs> the stability of the plus one. As I told here also and here also down the group because of the inert pair effect. Remember because of the inert pair effect. Inert pair effect. Inert pair effect means general configuration of these uh, 13th group is remember NS2, NP1. So that NS electron does not take part in the bonding down the group. So down the group NS electron does not take part in the bonding. Because of that reason what happens is NP only in involving in the bonding. Only NP is involving in the bonding. Because of that, so remember aluminum, gallium, indium, thallium if you consider. For thallium only plus 1 is more stable. Two oxidation state plus one and plus three for group 13 so when inert pair effect is not there two plus one three is the oxidation state for example aluminium but down the group what happens is only plus one is oxidation state predominates over plus three reason for that is ns electron do not take part in the bonding because of that reason the answer for this question is remember here thallium more than indium more than gallium more than aluminium sixth question answer is a. <clears throat> then seventh one name the type of structure silicate in which one an, an oxygen atom of one oxygen atom actually it is one oxygen atom of SiO4 4 minus is shared so remember I will show you the structure here you can see in the screen 
So SiO4 4 minus structure will be like this. So one silicon surrounded by four oxygen. Remember that. So that is orthosilicate also we can call it as. Now when it will form a chain silicate, you can see the structure like this. Chain silicate structure will be like this. So this one is orthosilicate. Then this is chain silicate structure. You can see. So. In that particular case, chain silicate, you can see two oxygen atoms are shared. Two oxygen atoms are shared. And in case of the sheet silicate, you can observe here, sheet silicate, you can see, so three atoms are shared. Three atoms are shared. And three dimensional silicate, that is all the four oxygen atoms are shared. In between, you can see cyclic silicate also here. Cyclic silicate also here, in which two oxygen atoms are shared. So cyclic silicate and linear silicate or chain silicate, two oxygen atom atoms are shared. Sheet silicate, three oxygen atoms shared. And uh, three dimensional silicate, four oxygen atoms are shared. And in case of this ortho silicate, no oxygen atoms are shared. Then what is pyrosilicate? Pyrosilicate structure, I will show it here. <coughs> Pyrosilicate structure in which you can see one oxygen atom is shared. So hence pyrosilicate is the answer. All this structure once you go through this that is enough. So pyrosilicate is the one where one oxygen atoms are shared. Hence seventh question answer is C. Eighth. Diborane react with oxygen and H2O to produce respectively. See diborane B2H6 reacts with oxygen reacts with water <clears throat> reacts with oxygen definitely b2o3 plus h2o one can easily tell b2o3 right b2o3 is the answer see very simple how to identify the structure s3bo3 hbo2 with oxygen not possible because in this particular case you can see with oxygen when i tell so it will form hydrogen is removed oxidation take place b2o3 is the answer s2 remember S3BO3 is going to form. And for this I have given the flow chart, clear flow chart of this, uh, you can say, uh, all this diborane structure that also you can go through. The notes is given in the description box. You can download all the first POC notes and you can see. Yes, for that you can join telegram group also. So in that telegram group you will see all those videos, all those uh, uh, links for these uh, notes and the PDFs also possible are present, hence you can download it. <clears throat> then C60 an allotrope of carbon contains. See, is the structure factual question? There is nothing like you, uh, you, you, there is a short tick, but you have to remember this. C60 fullerene structure, I will show it here. You can see this is the C60 fullerene structure in which there are hexagonal rings and pentagonal rings. How many, when the question is asked, remember, so hexagonal rings are 20 and pentagonal rings are 12. So remember, hexagonal rings are 20 in a number, pentagonal rings are 12 in a number. It is just like hexa means 6 members, so more in number 20 and 12 pentagonal 12. So remember it like this, there is no other way. But one or two times if you read that fullerene structure, you can easily tell 20 hexagon and 12 pentagon. The carbon-carbon bond length is maximum in case of very simple, very important. So remember, graphite hybridization is sp2, c70 and c60 both are fullerene, sp2, sp2 and diamond is sp3. sp3 means only single bond is present. Single bond means definitely bond length will be more than the double bond. Hence the answer for this question should be D. Answer for this question is D. So these are the 10 questions I have solved from a P block first PUC part. In the next video I am going to discuss so P block second PUC part. So till then, thank you. Have a nice day.